Hey everyone, welcome to my channel or welcome back if you are a subscriber. Um, I haven't sat down and made a video in literal years, so this may be a surprise to some of you, but I had a baby and I'm going to talk about um, our experience on the Disney Wish with an infant. So he is 14 months old. He turned 15 months old the day we disembarked, debarked, disembarked, I think it's disembarked from the wish. We cruised from September 12th to 16th and it was a Halloween on the high seas cruise. So first of all, he, um, let's talk about the cost because that's a huge part of traveling with a family. Um, but he would only cost $368 which may sound like a lot, but um, when you think about overall, I mean, my husband and I probably were three times that. So I feel like he was kind of a bargain. Um, we did go, it was a four night cruise. We went to Nassau and Castaway Key. Um, by the way, I've taken notes in my handy dandy notebook. So that's why I'm looking down because I don't want to miss anything. Um, <clears throat> so let's start with transportation. The night before the cruise, we stayed at Animal Kingdom Lodge. We did use the Disney Cruise Line transportation, which I highly recommend if you're staying on property the night before. They pick your luggage up for you. You don't see it again until you're in your stateroom. You don't have to worry about it. And also, you get there very early in the morning. So, I think we arrived... We checked in at 8.15 in the morning. We got on the bus around 8.30, 8.45, and we arrived at the terminal around 11. We were boarding group two, which is the second one. I think boarding group one is concierge and some something else. I don't know. <laughs> it wasn't us. Um, but we ended up boarding the ship at noon. So we got a, we got there early, we got a good boarding time, and um, we were able to enjoy the ship for longer. So for him, it was free, the transportation to the ship. It was, I think, $78 round trip for my husband and I, because we did go back to Disney World after we got off the cruise. We stayed at the Fort Wilderness Cabins. Um, so he was free. He just sat in our lap. They don't allow car seats on the bus. If you bring a car seat, they will stow it underneath with luggage. And then you are stuck with having to stow a car seat away in your stateroom. So I would just not even bother with a car seat. We flew down, so we didn't have one anyway. Um, we live in Birmingham, Alabama, so it's a about an hour flight to Orlando. So he just sat in our lap. He did great on the plane. Um, yeah, so once we got to the port, since he is unvaccinated, he did have to do an additional COVID test. Now, before we left home, we took him to the pediatric urgent care. They did a PCR. We uploaded the results. He was negative, we were good to go. Um, I won't get too into this because this is changing all the time. I think even the crews after us vaccinated people didn't have to test at all. So, um, all I'll say is that it was a smooth process. He did have to have a rapid test once we were there. It was a 30 minute process, maybe in and out. And then we were on the ship by noon. And I have to say, being there early really was worth it because we basically went straight to the pool deck and Mickey Mouse was there. We were the only ones up there and we had a really special, maybe like two to three minute interaction with Mickey. Um, I'll try to include that clip. I'm ter I'm terrible at like, oh, I'll, I'll add a picture or I'll do a clip. I probably won't remember, but. <laughs> Oh, 
Oh, he loves Mickey. Oh, yeah. We saw him in Disneyland when he was 10 months old. Ten and months he was old. so excited. Oh, my goodness. Yeah. Oh, I'm so glad. Yeah, he's gone. <laughs> he's he's really bigger he's now. Bigger yeah. <laughs> it was really special and it was really cool. So, once in our stateroom, we booked a veranda. We were forward, maybe almost like as far forward as you can be. Like there was the bridge and maybe two other staterooms and then us. We didn't feel the motion that much. I thought our room was great. Um, we were on deck 10, so we were pretty high up, which I also loved because we were one deck below the main pool deck. And so we didn't have to always grab our stroller and wait on an elevator. We could just go up a flight of stairs to get a quick bite to eat or, you know, just walk around, whatever. Um, we did have a split bathroom and the bathroom with the shower had a tub, which is great if you have a baby for bath time. Um, it is very small, so you're kind of at an awkward angle trying to bathe your baby because the door only, you know, it's a sliding glass door, so you don't have access to the whole tub. So you're kind of like squeezed in there, but it's fine. It worked. Um, upon our arrival to the room, our stateroom host, Shen, she was amazing. We loved her. She already had a pack and play set up in there and a diaper genie. Um, we ended up not using the pack and play because he just would not sleep in it. He slept in the bed with us. I'm not, um, recommending this for everyone. Safe sleep people, please do not come after me. We did safe sleep for a whole year at least, <laughs> but, um, he's, like I said, he's 14 months now. He's an older baby. He's bigger. If he were younger, I wouldn't have allowed it. Um, but so we ended up just packing it up and she took it away. They do provide sheets, um, but you know, you can always bring your own. That's what we did traveling before because I just didn't trust. Um, ugh. Anyway, <laughs> they bring a pack and play and a diaper genie, which you can feel free to use or not. Um, we did have to get a bottle warmer from guest services. I don't know how many they have, but when we went down there, they did tell me that I got the last one. So if that's really important to you, um, make sure you handle that soon. Um, I know he's 14 months. We're trying to get away from bottles, but it's taking some time. And um, we did use the warm milk to make his um, oatmeal. He's baby oatmeal in the morning. And he also wants it after his dinner. He freaking loves oatmeal. So that's what we mostly use the bottle warmer for. Um, one great thing is that the staterooms at night are really dark. And even during the day, you can close the curtain to your veranda and it is so dark in there. He slept way better than he does at home. At home, he wakes up at least three times every night on the cruise, he woke up like once a night. So, and he slept in later till like 7.30. At home usually is up at six. So we loved that. <laughs> we all got a lot of good sleep. Um, I mentioned how amazing Shen was, our stay room hostess. She would come and clean our room first or at least as soon as she saw that we were out of it because she knew that we would be coming back kind of early for naps. So she would just go ahead and get us taken care of, which we really appreciated. She was awesome. I, I loved her. Um, the good thing about a cruise is that you're never too far away, unless you're on an excursion, um, from your room for nap time. So if we, you know, we felt like he was getting tired, it's a five minute trot back to your room. We would just put him down and, you know, hang out on the veranda or take a nap ourselves because let's be honest, uh, we're parents and we're tired. <laughs> and um, so that was great. But during downtime, like showering and getting ready for dinner, we did bring some toys that were new to him. So he was not really bored of them. But the thing that he played with the most were these little window clings and he would just stick them to the window 
um, of the sliding doors that go to the veranda and that kept him entertained for a while. Um, so I think that's all I have to say about our stateroom. Let's move on to dining. So usually he is really good in restaurants. Um, he loves getting out of the house. He's not a whiner. He's actually a very good, well-behaved baby. But something about the cruise turned him into a freaking gremlin in the restaurants. Um, but our servers were so nice. Our, our team was Kelly, Christian, and Andrea. If you're on the dream and you have them, I think our table number was 204. They were fantastic. They were so nice. I feel like we really, like, me and Kelly were, like, behind the napkin playing peekaboo with Sebastian. That's his name. I don't know if I've said that. Um, we call him Bash for short. They were just so nice. And every night after the first night, when we would get there, they had his high chair set up with his milk and a, bo a bowl for his beloved oatmeal. And... A cup of water so we would always order something for him off the menu just to try we're working on eating different foods he just isn't into it um loves mac and cheese though so we would get him something from the menu and then we would feed him his oatmeal um already said our servers were amazing what else okay on to the quick service we ate at festival of foods a lot it is like the um, quick service on the pool deck, which is on deck 11, I think. Hold on. Oh, yes, deck 11 forward. We didn't do Goofy's Grill. That's like hamburgers, hot dogs, chicken fingers. <clears throat> we, well, we, I <laughs> had Mickey's Smokestack Barbecue at least twice. It was really good and Bash loved their mac and cheese. So that's what we fed him for lunch a lot. Seth would do Donald's, what is it called? Donald's Cantina. It's like a Chipotle basically. Um, and he loves that. And then almost every night, I hate to admit we ate pizza and all three of us liked the pizza too. So um, that was great. Our first day we sat down with our food. Um, I was holding Bash and some a cast member walked by. She was like, oh no, you need a high chair. Like you need to be able to eat. He needs to sit. So she got us a high chair and she was entertaining him while we ate lunch. And it was just fantastic. Everyone on the Wish that worked there was amazing. I can't say that enough. Um, okay, Marceline Market. Lunch does not start there until 1130, which to me, I feel like is a little bit late for a baby, at least ours anyway. He eats lunch around 1045 to 11. Um, but everyone that works there was helpful. We love seeing Kelly. She was at the little kids station, so we would go by there and see her. Actually, I think we only ate lunch there once. We had breakfast there once and lunch once. Um, there's so much good food. It's just like, I can't, <laughs> I can't eat all the time. But everyone that works there was helpful. They would come by and play with him or talk to him. They had some very kid friendly options, corn dogs, mac and cheese, chicken fingers, stuff like that. And also stuff that Seth and I really loved. Um, so that's that. Those are your options for outside of the main dining rooms. There's also room service. And we did order room service every morning, but you know, you can fill out this little door hanger, hang it on the door, they come around and grab it, and then whatever time you specify, they'll bring you whatever you ordered. So we would always do coffee for Seth and I and croissants, and then we would order a few cartons of whole milk for Sebastian, there is a little um, drawer refer. It's not like, it's weird. I'm sure you've probably seen videos of it, but you pull out the little refrigerator drawer. So we'd order some cartons of milk for him and just store them in there for him to drink or to make oatmeal or whatever. 
Um, and then we would get him a little fruit plate because he loves honeydew and watermelon. So he would have his little honeydew and watermelon and his oatmeal in the morning from room service. And he was good to go. Oh, another thing I forgot to mention about our service team. We, on the first night, they were just kind of giving us like a rundown of the restaurants. And we mentioned that Bash loves Olaf. He has a little stuffed Olaf in my car and I pick him up from daycare and he kisses him all over his face every day. He loves him. So um, Olaf is an animatronic in the Arendelle restaurant. It's not a person. So he gets pushed around on this little cart. So he can only go down a few of the aisles. So they actually moved our table so that we could be on the aisle so Bash could see Olaf better, which I thought was really sweet and nice. Um, okay, I'm thinking I may have to do this in two parts, but if I do, I'll just edit it. We'll just keep moving along. So let's just talk about the ship in general. Like I said, we were on the Wish. It's their newest ship. I'm not sure if I mentioned it was a Halloween on the High Seas cruise. It was the first Halloween on the High Seas. Um, so like all of the ships, it did have some very narrow hallways. The rooms are really kind of small. I mean, they're not, they're fine for a cruise ship, but they're not super spacious. Um, so you're not going to want to bring your big, like everyday stroller. We brought an up a baby menu, menu, I don't know, M-I-N-U, whatever. It's really narrow, but... It's like about the width of an umbrella stroller, maybe a little bit wider, but it reclines pretty far for naps, which is great. He's not the kind of baby that has to be like in the crib, no light, sound machine on. Like he can nap in a stroller, which I'm very grateful for. So we used that um, and it folds up really easily to slide under the bed or stick in the closet or whatever. Um, like I said, you may want to stay closer to where you think you're going to spend the most time. For us, that was the pool deck. So that the pool is on deck 11. We stayed on deck 10. Even though I will say we mostly still use the elevators because it was nice to have the stroller to stuff his diaper bag under it. Um, and I guess we could have left it because you're not too far if you want to just run back to the room to change a diaper but you never know so and also we had a little um carabiner carabiner for our mugs that we got when we stayed at animal kingdom lodge to fill up on the pool deck so it was nice to have a stroller for extra stuff so um we did mostly just use the elevators anyway one of the major bummers on the ship is that the kids cannot swim, babies cannot swim unless they're potty trained and out of swim diapers. Obviously, a 14 month old, maybe some are potty trained, but mine is not. So he can even walk on his own, he can't go to the bathroom on his own. So what they do have for babies is the Toy Story Splash Zone. And it was really fun, it's really large. Um, and there are two slides on either end that are pretty intense. I uploaded a um, short of me and Sebastian going down the slide. And you like, once you're off the slide, you keep going across the floor. So if you're going to let your child go down alone, just make sure you're at the bottom to catch them. Because you'll keep going. Um, but he loved that. He does love to swim. We took him to our community pool all throughout the summer. And so he would see the pools on the pool deck and get very upset that he couldn't get in them. Um, and this is on 12 forward too. Also, the Wheezy's Freezies where you can get Dole Whips on the ship is right by the splash pad. We never got one, but I think you can get like Dole Whips with rum there too. Just so you know. <laughs> um, another thing they do that's fun for babies is Jack Jack's Diaper Dash. And it is a baby race where as long as they're not crawl or walking, you can let your baby race in the Diaper Dash. Um, Sebastian can crawl, but he mostly scoots and he's really 
a fast scooter. <laughs> and so we really wanted to put him in it, but he was taking a nap when it happened. And that's um, going to be on your C day. So just keep an eye out for that. We saw it on our cruise on the dream before he was born. And I thought it looked really fun, but um, yeah, we weren't able to participate this time, but that's okay. So the nighttime shows, I was shocked because he does not like to watch TV or movies or anything, but he did actually really great in the nighttime shows. There are two shows, um, show times. It's the same show every night. So we had main seating for dinner, which is 545. So our show time was around 830. If you have the late dinner, then you would go to the early show. We actually only did two of them. We went to Seize the Adventure, which was really cute. It's the classic characters, Minnie Mouse and Goofy. And then we went to Aladdin on our last night. And I was honestly so surprised that he actually enjoyed them. Um, he would make it like an hour into the, cause you know, the entertainment director comes out and talks first. And so the shows aren't an hour long, I don't think, but after it's all said and done, it's a little bit more than that. Um, but yeah, he actually loved it, but we would sit in the very top and on the end of an aisle so we could make a quick exit if we needed to. Um, during CZ Adventure, he actually nursed a little bit and then fell asleep, but he made it pretty far into Aladdin about an hour, but then we did have to leave, but it was no big deal. I mean, there's a bunch of kids there. He wasn't the loudest or whatever. So don't feel bad about taking to your, your baby to the shows if you want to see them or if you want to just try, just go. No big deal. Um, okay. Characters. There are plenty of opportunities to meet characters, but he is at the stage where he really likes to see them from afar. He doesn't necessarily want to get up close. The only character meet and greet that we waited in line for was Clarabelle, Minnie Mouse, and Daisy dressed like the Sanderson sisters. And <laughs> that was so much fun. It was so amazing. I walked up holding him and I said, sisters, I smell children. And they immediately just started circling around and sniffing and he started crying. It was a little intense for him, but then Minnie saved it with a quick game of peekaboo and we got a great photo and it was so much fun. Um, but mostly he just liked waving to them. Um, we actually missed the, what's it called? Mickey's Mouse Grade, which is like the trick-or-treating and a little show that they do on the Halloween on the high seas cruises. Because that night we had put him in the nursery for dinner, which I'll talk more about later. And then Seth and I just went to grab a drink at the bayou and so we missed that. But um the pirate rockin' parlay party, I think it's called, got moved inside because of rain. And it's basically, it was basically just a dance party. And so the characters were on the um, stage in the atrium. The Wish has a stage in the atrium, which I think is a great addition. They do like little shows. There are these two performers that kind of remind me of um, the people in the Frozen sing-along at Hollywood Studios. It's kind of like that. But um, so the characters were on the stage dancing and we were on a couch right beside the stage and Sebastian was just dancing and dropping it low and breaking it down. It was so adorable. I'll insert a clip again, if I can remember. were just like, I'm having more fun watching the baby dance than this show. And, you know, it was cute. The fireworks happen, I think, around 1030 or 11. So we were already in bed. We missed the fireworks. That's okay. 
Um, what else? We missed the the farewell show on the last night because that also is at 11.15 or 11.30. Again, that's fine. We're not worried about it. Um, oh, shopping on the ship. So there are a few different shops. There's one main gift shop that's called Mickey's Main Sale. And I think that's what it is on all of the other ships as well. Um, I was a little bit disappointed in the merchandise there. They did not have the cruise line plush. Like on the Dream, I got a Chippendale cruise line. All they had were the Halloween ones. So we got him a Halloween Mickey, but I really wanted to get him a cruise line Mickey, but that's okay. We got him this. He loved it. Um, as far as clothing, they had this little t-shirt that we got him. It's Mickey Mouse. This is a little, um, rose and compass and on the sleeve it says disney wish and then we got him this little disney cruise line romper with captain mickey it's super cute but um yeah that was it in the shops you'll also find diapers wipes swim diapers a few medications um, but you were going to pay a premium to buy those items on the ship. I think they had a few um, pouches as well. I'm not sure. Um, I didn't really look too hard because we didn't need any of that stuff. We brought all of it. So, whew, this video is going to be long. 